Dataflux has created a data governance maturity model to help us understand how different organizations operate. What we want to do with the maturity model is ensure we understand the practices of that organization so that we can apply the appropriate processes and technologies to help that organization improve. So when we talk to organizations, we'll tend to ask them a number of questions about uh, the relationship between business and IT, about the relationships across different business units, and we'll help them formulate an understanding for uh, their maturity with respect to the way that they govern their data. We break organizations down into four different categories, undisciplined, reactive, proactive, and governed. Each of these different categories represents and reflects how that organization operates, but it also reflects the needs of that organization in, in order to mature. So let's look at these. We'll start with undisciplined. An undisciplined organization is a very siloed organization. It has uh, different applications for things like Salesforce automation and database marketing and the call center. And, and these are not uh, these are not combined in a way to help the organization as a whole. And furthermore, it might have these applications repeated in different business units. So very siloed. There's a lot of very successful organizations that are siloed. Uh, some 30 to 35 percent of organizations we work with are still in this undisciplined stage. So a lot of big organizations, a lot of big successful organizations, but they're not taking advantage of their data to help move their organization forward. The second category is the reactive category. We call it reactive primarily because Organizations, as they move out of undisciplined into, into reactive, are oftentimes reacting to something in the industry or in, internal in their organization. Uh, things like uh, compliance. Compliance insists that an organization look across their entire uh, um, business to rationalize that data to ensure that the entire business is compliant. And so that's required organizations to consolidate uh, different parts of their systems, and that's moved them into the reactive stage. If we look at proactive, um, the fewer and fewer organizations are in the proactive stage. Uh, if we look at undisciplined, we have 30 to 35 uh, percent. Proactive is more like 5 or 10 percent of organizations are in the proactive stage. In the proactive stage, you have to make a real leap, and this is not a leap of technology. This is a leap of of uh, of personnel and of politics and of relationships. Uh, if you look at the data flux data governance maturity model, there's a chasm between the reactive and the proactive stage. And it, it's not a technology chasm. It's a it's a it's a relationship chasm. You have to get people to sit down and talk to each other because in the proactive stage you're trying to look across uh, your entire organization and make sure that the data reflects your entire organization. The final stage is the govern stage. The govern stage uh, is, is a stage in which organizations concentrate less on uh, managing data for the sake of data and more on managing data for the sake of business improvement by taking this data that they've worked so hard to collect and improve and pushing it up into the business processes to automate those business processes and to ensure that those business processes reflect uh, the needs of, of the organization.